Hello world, my croquettes! In this video we will look at the operation of the flame sensor, control the RGB LED and turn on the infrared LED in home reboot controls. We collect everything according to the presented electrical diagram. This is KY027 flame detector. This is KY005 infrared LED. This is RGB LED KY009. We turn on the power and check the operation of the RGB LED. All three LEDs are flashing. Let's take a closer look at the infrared LED. The human eye does not see this light, but the phone's camera allows you to do it. An infrared LED is connected to one of the RGB LED channels. The flame sensor has a building resistor that adjusts the comparator response threshold. That is indirectly sensitivity. We look at the sensor triggering distance a few centimeters. Twisted clockwise, terribly increasing the sensitivity. The distance has increased. Just over 25 centimeters. Decrease the sensitivity by turning it counterclockwise. Approximately 20 centimeters. Let's check if there is a signal from home remotes. We see the same purple glow when the buttons are pressed. Let's see if the sensor works. The TV remote emits a bunch of commands. We see a lot of switching. The remote control from the air conditions emits a short burst of pulses. The 
the sensor does not work from the RGB LED. Wherefore, with the help of it you can use an invisible connection. Let's consider the program of a microcontroller. We include a standard STM file. Special declaration to work with the new bool type. Turn off the inner quartz and turn on the outer one. We configure a PLL modular. Configuring internal bus prescalers. We allow the peripherals to be clocked. Configure port C13 LED pin as push pull output. Configure the port C14 optical relay pin as a push pull output. Pin for working with the flame sensor. Input floating. RGB channels are used in the PWM outputs of a timer. We need to be configured as an alternative to push pull functionality. Setting up a timer. Timer tick duration is 100 microseconds. Timer period 300 milliseconds. Set up a timer for PWM mode. We indicate the standard settings for PWM as well as the duration in timer ticks of logical one. This is done for channel one. Channels 2 and 3 are configured in the same way, but with a different duration of a logical one. We immediately turn on the timer where RGB LED is blinking. We do not use ADCs and interrupts. In an endless loop, we interrogate the pin of a flame sensor and issue this value to the debug LED. This concludes the review with simple sensors and infrared sources. Subscribe, MicroCat!